Hi guys, in this video I'm doing an $110 Firefly Slime review. I placed this order on May 16th and it was shipped on June 17th. The video about why this package took so long and about everything that happened with it was posted before this review and before the ASMR. So if you're curious about that, you can find that on my channel, but I will also be sure to link that. And it was delivered on June 21st. Here is the large priority mailbox that everything arrived in and it came with a cute firefly slime sticker on top. As you can see, all of the slimes were bubble wrapped and it's really satisfying to see all of the slimes with the labels and they look really nice and cute. Here you can kind of see which was really sad, three of the slimes leaked, but it's not the seller's fault because they did all they could with bubble wrapping all the slimes. And there were no cracks, so I believe this is because they were either some of them were overfilled and some were just inflated at the time. But I'll talk more about that later. Here I start to take them out of the bubble wrap, which is my favorite part because I find it so satisfying to get to see them all taken out. And as you can see, some of them leaked and it messed up some of the labels, which is kind of sad. But luckily I was able to salvage them and I didn't lose too much. As I said, some of them were overfilled and some is because they inflated, but it wasn't anything too crazy. And luckily it was only three and this was a bigger order, so three was not that many. Before I get into the extras and the actual slimes, I just wanted to show you the three that leaked so you know why they look the way they do. The ones that leaked were birthday cake fluff, cupcake icing, and peppermint marshmallows. Here are all of the slimes together. There are so many. This is one of the biggest orders I've ever placed. Here are the five slimes that I will be reviewing in part one. Here we have her really cute extras baggies. Comes in this clear bag. And we have a really adorable logo. That is her firefly. I really love the aesthetic of everything. It really is cute. And I love the picture of the slime. It has her social media, her YouTube, Instagram, and Gmail. And then we have a watermelon Jolly Rancher, which is the best flavor. And then a slime care card, which is really nice. It has a bunch of tips and stuff about activator. And more care about slime if you skim there, which is cool. And then borax, which is labeled, which I like. Peppermint marshmallows is eleven forty for a 6 ounce marshmallow foam scented candy canes. This was one of the two free slimes included in my package, which I was grateful for. As you can see, the slime came very melted, and I'm just going to see that now, all of these slimes were very melted, some more than others, and it's kind of weird because they weren't in transit for very long, which made me think that they were sitting for a while, but luckily I had activator on hand, and some was provided, so I was able to activate them. 
Now onto this slime. This was one of the two free slimes included and I was really grateful for that and I'm really happy I got this one because I didn't get any flumes or any thick and glossies because they are not my favorite types of slimes. This is one of my favorite slimes from the package. I really like how thick and glossy it is. It's like a light pink color. It has super cute candy cane female slices and really small red foam beads that have a nice touch and it's really creamy and fun to play with it has great bubble pop and i never buy marshmallow flumes because the marshmallow beads deteriorate into slime but these seem more firm than usual so they seem like they might last longer than the normal ones and i really like them this is overall really great slime and i would highly recommend it and i love this scent it's really sweet and creamy and it only has a light hint of peppermint so i enjoy it a lot You Give Me Butterflies is 1140 for a 6 ounce clear slime that is unscented and has these beautiful butterfly glitters in it. This slime is absolutely beautiful and I do not ever buy clear slimes because I just don't like them. They get very sticky and melt very fast. But they're just so beautiful to look at and I'm still very happy I bought this one. It's fun to play with and it's so pretty. I love the colorful butterfly glitters. They're really pretty and I knew as soon as I saw the video of this slime that I had to have it and I don't even like clear slime so that says something. And I love the idea of it. It's really cute and it didn't fog up that fast and it has good bubble pops and it's stretchy and it's not that thin and it's not that thick either it's kind of in the middle but it's very fun to play with and if you like unscented clear slimes i highly recommend this slime Cupcake icing is 11.40 for a 6 ounce butter slash clay slime scented cupcake icing. Cupcake icing was a pretty nice texture. I like the white color. I really like white slimes. I like the concept. I like cupcake icing. And I like how it was inflating and it had great bubble pops. Unfortunately, the slime had some hairs. And here's one of the ones that I found. One of the bigger ones. 
And I just want to say, in order to avoid that, you just need to keep your area clean. It's not that big a deal. It's just kind of off-putting, especially in slimes that are white and it's easy to find. And it just kind of ruins the experience. Back to the slime. I don't love the add-ins. They kind of seem really random to me. Especially like Cupcake. I would think like it would just have rainbow sprinkles. I think that's simple enough. And they just have random add-ins like Mickey Famous Slices and Cloud Sprinkles. But nonetheless, this slime has great bow pops and it's creamy and it inflates really fast. But what I noticed about all of these clay slash butter slimes is that they inflate really fast and a lot which some of you may like i don't because then it's irritating i have to get a container for all of these slimes but that's not the thing that i didn't like what i didn't like is that when they inflate they get super tacky and sticky and no matter how much activator you put they just want to stick to you which is pretty annoying however texture and appearance aside my least favorite part by far about this slime is the scent it does not smell like icing or vanilla or frosting or anything delicious like that the scent is really off-putting and weird to me it smells exactly like the kawaii slime company circus cookie slime which kind of smells like an old cake or an old cookie or something and the scent is really not it for me but it does inflate so if you like inflating slimes you might like the scent but i really don't like the scent and it kind of makes me nauseous and it's really really strong your cutie pie is 11.40 for a six ounce butter slash clay plus snow fizz slime scented apple pie This was kind of like a DIY slime-ish, but as you can see, it kind of mixed, but I was still able to mix it myself, which was fun. I really, really enjoyed this texture. This was my favorite out of the two that I got. I got this one and the carrot cake one. I love the color of it. I love the texture. I have to say her plastic snow must be really good or just the texture of these layered slimes are down packed because they do not follow or anything and every time that i have these layered slimes the plastic snow always falls out or is weird and clumpy but these were really nice and i like how thick and holdable this slime is and it's very inflating the only downside is that when it doesn't inflate just like the other ones it gets tacky and i think it has to do with the clay that she uses so that sucks and also i really don't like the scent and it's very strong it's not a delicious apple pie scent like i was hoping for and like it was advertised it smells like a candle like a fall candle which i am known not to like some of you may like but i definitely don't the scent definitely ruined this line for me which sucks but this was a great texture so i recommend this texture hopefully she does it with a different scent or changes the scent i'm not sure i don't know why a lot of shops use these candle like scents i don't know if they don't have any good ones out there or what it is but a lot of the cinnamon scents that i've smelled are not good so it's disappointing but i like the texture and the apple female slices in it are super cute Piglet is a light pink butter slash clay slime that's a 6 ounce for 11.40 scented lightly of vanilla and it comes with this little pink mochi squishy.
I love the little pig squishy that this came with and I'm glad that mine came with it. I thought I wouldn't but I got mine which I'm really happy about. It's super cute and it was a nice add on with it. This was actually my favorite slime out of the whole package. I love the color. I like the scent. It smells like sweet vanilla, which I'm happy about because unfortunately a lot of the slimes in this package did not smell like what they were advertised about. And I've been having that problem with a lot of shops recently. The scents do not smell like what they say they are and I've been very disappointed because they make the slimes out to be like they smell delicious and amazing and they don't smell like what they're supposed to smell like, which sucks because they have all these scents and they don't smell as incredible as they're advertised but that's besides the point this slime is super thick and holdable and creamy and inflating and it doesn't get as tacky as the other ones i really love this slime so much and i highly highly recommend it it is a super creamy slime and adding activator made it nice and thick Part 2 of this review will be following shortly. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.